How's it going guys? It is AJ and Cam. Welcome to another Marky Matchup Predictions. So these videos seem to come around so quick, it's crazy. Uh, I seem to only be doing the Marky Matchups, but they can't. I do them every like, well, start of the week between Monday and Wednesday really. It seems to come along that sort of time, but I try and get them out as early as possible. So I'm bringing this to you on the Wednesday. Now these games are pretty damn expensive. I've got four games for you here today. One of them is actually a cup final, which could be interesting, and they're all pretty expensive uh, unless you get some snipes in there, which is well possible, like they aren't exactly impossible to snipe, nothing's impossible to snipe, but you guys can go and get them if you try, uh, so we can get straight into it to be honest. So the first game, all you want to do, I'm just going to go to the Tipper League, the uh, Norwegian League, and it is actually the game, between, this is one of the most expensive ones. Uh, Rosenberg and as you, as you can see if you go gold they have not got any so what you need to do check it to silvers you can see 600 coins they are going for this this team is the cheaper one uh, so they're going for around 450 and that is a right wing well there's a load there centre mid sit, uh, keeper left back uh, the right wing like I said another right wing actually and a striker as well but there's a few different cards there you can go pick them up these have a good chance of being in the marking matchups as you can tell because obviously they wouldn't be going up in price if they were pretty much guaranteed not to be in there. If they have no chance of being in there, they're not going to actually go up in price because obviously people are doing videos like me and people, like more people are investing in them. So that just shows that they have more of a likelihood, if that is even the right word, of going in the marking matchups this Friday. So with this game, I would actually invest in some Norwegian players if you can. Of course, you can go and get some different ones, but like different nations, sorry, so uh, Norwegian is probably the best obviously because they're in the Norwegian league, so uh, go sit about 450 to 500 coins, you can see that a few pop up there, left back, centre mid, uh, the goalkeeper and the striker, they're the ones you can actually go get, you could probably bid on most of these, what I'm going to do is just take that away, just go 250 coins, I don't know why I did that, but 250 coins, uh, 200 coins I've gone, but you can go whatever, as long as you get them cheaper than they're actually going for, it's fine. Uh, you've got plenty here, just bid on these, 250, just go do some mass bid and you know how to mass bid. Go and do that for a few minutes, try and get as many as you can, doesn't matter, don't go crazy with your bids, don't go no higher than 250 coins. Go bid on a load, see if you win any, if you do, well played, that's decent, you're going to make yourself profit, and if they're in the marquee matchups, you are going to make yourself a lot of money from this. So moving on to the next team, they are actually playing against a side called SK Bran, or Bran, not too sure, once again pronunciation of shit, but if you go gold, they've only got, actually they don't even have any, I thought they had a special card, but they don't. So what you want to do, I wouldn't get bronzes with these because they are pretty expensive, no they're pretty cheap, sorry, they're not going to be needed at all, well chances are they're not going to be needed at all, so you want to go with the silvers, that's the best option. So what you want to do, take down 450, 500 coins, maybe 550 notes, so 600 is literally the cheapest, that's where they're at, but they aren't selling, so you want to get them under that, you don't want to be buying them if there's loads on the market, so just take that away, go to 500 coins, see how many you can bid on, if you get some of these, it's decent, there's 250 there with 5 minutes to go, uh, 450 with a minute to go, you might be able to bid on a couple of these, it is the same throughout, you go get yourself different nations, definitely get yourself some players where they are guaranteed to be, uh, guaranteed to be in the sort of SBC, so goalkeepers, going to be needed, centre backs, probably left and right backs, but centre backs, centre mids and strikers, they're always going to be needed, Go get yourself some of those and then you are guaranteed profit and if they're going in them, if they are in the marquee matchups, you're going to be in for a lot of profit because they could rise up to about two, three thousand coins, maybe even more, depending on how the actual thing goes on the day because they do different requirements. Obviously some games are worth more than others because of the rewards you get, like you might get a better pack out of one of the games if you do that SBC, well, like compared to others, I don't know. And they do other ones where... Um, I, think they, I, think, I think they've only done it once or twice where you get a guaranteed team of the week player if you complete the marquee matchups. That's because the marquee matchups sort of died off for a bit, but I think they're coming back. They're sort of coming back now, getting more views on the videos, which is always good. And also, a lot of people seem to be completing those. So, the next game is actually in the Calcio A. I'm going to just go to the other one. Yes, that'd be easier. So, this game is between Milan, AC Milan, that is not in a and uh, Roma. So this game, I think they're quite expensive. You guys can tell, you don't want to go golds or, no, you don't want to go silvers or bronzes. And the cheapest on the market is currently around 800 coins, which is very expensive. So yeah, uh, 850 even, that's the cheapest at the moment on the market. And that's just for this goalkeeper here. 
uh, and a left back, the Shilo or whatever his name is. Um, that's probably about it. So you've got the left back and the goalkeeper and these two which are probably sniped and they are probably gone by now. So with this one, just go snipe to be honest. You can use it, I say this quite a bit, but it's sort of a good idea. You can use it as a sniping filter to invest in other ones. Say you I said this last week I think, but say you've got 5,000 coins, uh, these go for 850, put it down to 700, sit here, you guys know how to snipe, just do a bit of sniping exactly like this, except I won't, probably won't get one if they pop up, um, and my market is slow so it does that, but if you've got 5k, do a bit of sniping, and say until you get 10k, so do 5k worth of sniping, and then obviously you've got 5,000 coins of investments. That's what you can use on the other games, or you can use it on these games themselves, like getting some Roma or some AC Milan players. So then you're not really losing that money, you're doing some sniping to gain profit, um, and then with that profit, you're actually putting it into investments to make even more profit, if that makes sense. It might not pull off, but at the, at the end of the day, you've just wasted a couple of minutes sniping, that's all. Not wasting any money, really. Well, you technically are, but not money that you could have lost anyway because you already had 5,000 coins. It's confusing, but um, you guys understand what I mean. So that's one of them. I would, I can't really say to do much on this one. Look, the 850 coins, just go buy the cheapest players you can, to be honest. You're not going to need a full AC Milan team. So maybe go get the goalkeeper and the left back. Go to 950, 900 coins that you've got another left back, got another goalkeeper. Um, there's going to be a few more, probably that cam that was in here. Uh, they're all going to be in there eventually. They're going to be, like, you get a right mid here. I think there's another left back there, this guy here. I don't think he was on there. Um, so yeah, you can go get a range of different players, maybe some different nations, or go get the same nation. Just go get some players from these teams that I'm showing you today. As long as you get them cheap, it is okay. So going to move on to Roma now, because this is a pretty similar one. Use it as a sniping filter. They're going for around 900, well, about 850 coins, I think. So about the same price as the other team. And I think that is the only, yeah, this guy here, and I think they might have a goalkeeper. If you go 850, um, they might have a goalkeeper somewhere. At the minute it's just this left back and it's proven me wrong. Um, yeah, so at the minute it's just the left back I can see. So what you could do, you can take it to midfielders maybe, switch between midfielders and forwards if you want to do that. If not, what you could do, take that away, put it down to 700, get sniping from there. Do exactly what you did for AC Milan. I'm not telling you what players to invest in because it is quite hard uh, because the players that are cheap, like this left back, they seem to be the players that are worth the most, so people are not going to invest in him because he's the cheapest. Um, but yet, when the marquee matchups come out, if these are in there, that guy tends to go up to two, three thousand coins. So maybe get that left back that's on there. Who knows if you get them cheap. Uh, so what I'm going to do, take it to 700, maybe 750, depending on who pops up. Uh, you can see Iterbi, or whatever his name is, is on there. Salah might not win him for very cheap. Uh, I think they do have a goalkeeper somewhere. Like obviously I have a goalkeeper, but a gold goalkeeper, and he is actually Brazilian, so I'm going to go check it, because I'm pretty sure they do have him. No, yeah they do, this Allison guy, so they've got him, they've also got Chesney, obviously. Yeah, that is about it to be honest, there's not many of them that you can go get, as long as you get them cheap, some people might pop that Allison up pretty cheap because he's a non-rare, or some people might put players up like Chesney, pretty cheap, but like 650, like I could probably go snipe that, if, no, I'm not bothered if I don't get it, I won't really trying to snipe but uh, yeah I'm just showing you guys some players you can get so that is another team and that is another game completed so we're going to move on to the Premier League so this game is between Arsenal and Manchester United the Arsenal always seem to be in here like in my predictions they've been in I don't know how many times I've been in the market matchup but there's not many players these you can actually invest in because they don't actually have any non-rare players I didn't realize this I've just cleared it for some random reason I didn't realize this till a few weeks back but they don't have any non-rare players, I don't know many teams that don't, uh, but as you can see, look, they're about 900 coins, I think, 950, and that is El Nene, you might get one or two others popping up, but I can't really see it, to be honest. Uh, Ospina, I saw Ospina there, uh, just about, yeah, so you've got him in there as well. Um, other than that, there's not many players you can go invest in, but like I said, they don't often ask for a full team of whoever's in there, like uh, 11 players, and they all have to be from Arsenal, Manchester United, or something like that. They don't do that, they just ask for a couple of players from each team. So with this, you can actually get some English players, uh, maybe go and invest in Oxlade-Chamberlain, and mm, I wouldn't say Walcott, he's probably a bit too expensive to do. Uh, but you can actually go and get some of them anyway, it's entirely up to you. There might be a few different players that you can go get. 
on the market, but I'm going to put 900 coins, see who comes up. So you've got El Nenny and Ospina still. Uh, there's, I know there's a few more in there, I just can't really see them. It's hard to find, but you guys will find on the market where people put up at different times. So you guys will find them. Just find a cheap player. If you get them under a thousand coins, that's good. Um, but also, what I was going to say, what you can actually do, this is going to be the end of Arsenal. So clear that, go to England, and then put in 600 coins. You can actually go pick up some of these. This might be a good idea, because they might ask for some English players. Someone like Tompkins, because he's guaranteed to be in there if you need him because he's English and obviously a centre back. Maybe go get Crouchy, uh, Jason Punching could be another one. Go get some players like this, Loughton might be a good one because I always find that on the weekend when I'm bored on a Saturday night I'll see the marquee matchups on a Friday night and I'll just sit there and think who can I snipe? Look at the marquee matchups and it will say an English team, there will be like Chelsea versus Man U and then they will say six English players are required. You go, you can go and actually snipe some of these players which is decent so maybe go pick them up and tie it up to you. Maybe not the best option but definitely go get some Arsenal players because they're what are going to rise if they're in there. And the other team, like I said, were Manchester United and these guys have a few non-rares but they're not very cheap. 850, 900 coins. There's some there, you've got Lingard, there are other ones, I think Jones is, um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, they've got a goalkeeper uh, who is actually a non-rare as well. Where are they? They're all hiding, see they're all quite expensive which is the problem, um, so literally Lingard is the only one on here at the minute, unless I'd probably go defender, there might be one, no. So Lingard is literally the only one on there at the minute for a thousand coins, so what you want to do Clear that. Like I said, these are all really expensive, so maybe what you want to do, put it to 800 coins and get sniping from there to get some Manchester United players. But if not, like this is going to be an expensive one to do. Uh, the reward will be pretty good if you can actually go get them. But you've got Lingard there, you won't get by or Herrera. Maybe Depay, you might get him under 1,000 coins or around that mark. Rashford could be another possibility. Um, maybe a Valencia, I don't really know. But you've also got Schneidlin in there. He's pretty cheap. Um, and to be honest, that's about it. Obviously, you've got the goalkeeper. I can't even think of his name. Romero, Romeo, something like that, I think. Uh, but yeah, that is all I can actually see at the moment on the screen. You guys might find any different players. That's what I said a minute ago. So you could find some that are better to invest in than I've found right now because my market's been a bit glitchy. Like um, on the Arsenal one, there was like two pages of players when there's going to be more than that, obviously. So it could be a bit glitchy at the moment. You might find different players, like I said. So go and do that. Um, once again, look at the English players. If they, if you can find any min price, go and do it. But with the Arsenal, well, with most of these teams I'm showing you today, just go and snipe them. To be honest, it's the best option. Don't go pay a ridiculous amount because they might not be in there. That's what I'd go and do because you're probably guaranteed more profit that way. And if you get them for a like small price, then you are literally guaranteed to make yourself some profit. So the fourth and final game is actually in the Australian League, well I say the, it is in the, in the league but the actual game is in the cup, it's the A-League final uh, which is a big game and it is actually between Melbourne Victory and Sydney FC so these players are actually going for a lot, this will save it to last, if you check Melbourne Victory they only have one gold player, well if you go gold that would help but it comes up as that purple guy anyway so you've got this guy here, they don't have any other golds other than him just about four or five pages of this guy so not you can't really do much by that and then the other team only have one gold player but we're going to get to that in a second so I've just cleared that for some reason Melbourne victory go to silver that's what you want to be investing in 600 coins that is probably a snipe can't get it see look they pop up that was two or three seconds in that's why I didn't get it and they're actually going for around 1.3 I think 1.4 uh, so 1.3k this definitely a snipe and fill this week make a literally a shit ton of money don't know this guy's name, Calafella, Calafella, but you can go pick him up, maybe, and there's so many more. If you just go silvers, you can see that a lot of them have bids on, so you're not going to win that. You've got a CDM, a Cam, Striker, Centre Mid, Centre Back, another Centre Back. There's so many players you can actually go snipe. A lot of people will list these up very, very cheap, so I would actually go and do that. Just snipe, I don't know, they're going for 1.3, so maybe snipe for 900, maybe even less. Sit there, do a bit of sniping like that. See if any pop up if they do, well played, keep them in your club or you go sell them on for profit to make more investments. It's entirely up to you but 
what I would say, I'm not going to recommend any players to do, like to buy with this one because you just can't, you can't predict that sort of stuff. Just saying this could be a sniping filter and the only recommendation I can have is if you pick the players up cheap, min price or under what they're going for. That's the way you're going to make money and that is actually the easiest way. There's no point me sitting here telling, like, bullshitting to you and saying that this guy's going to be worth more than this guy because you just don't know. This team are going to be worth a lot. Hence why there are a thousand, nearly 1,500 coins. You guys can go pick any of these up, it's entirely up to you. Um, just go get them, go snipe them as much as you can. You, you only can do the silver players, the bronzes don't go for literally fuck all, they don't go for anything, so there's no point doing that. Just type in silver, clear the position, one victory, and in a second we'll get to Sydney. Put it down to around 1,000 coins, get sniping. Uh, I'm gonna pick that guy up if I could have, that would have been nice. Um, maybe a bit less than a thousand, so 900, try get them for that, if not under, or any sort of price around that, that'd be good. And we're going to move on to the final team, which is Sydney FC. Once again, if you check their goal players, they only have one, I think, maybe two, they've got a non-rare, so Bobo or something. This Brazilian guy, and he's worth around 1,200, um, about that sort of price, 1,100, maybe a thousand, I don't know. Uh, so you're looking at around 1,100 for this guy. Not too bad, but don't want to be paying that. And if we clear that, go to Silver, look. They're going for around 900 coins, and that is for, I think there's only one guy that popped up. Uh, maybe not, you've got two, three there. So you go pick these up, once again you can snipe them, put it down to 700 coins, get sniped, and I don't think you're going to win any of them on bid, so I wouldn't bother trying that. And if you do, it's not going to be a decent deal. So try snipe them, that's the best way to get these players. And I'm not going to drag the, this team on for much longer because you don't need to. Just basically, with all of the teams, all the games I've showed you today, um, as you can tell, none of them are min price. But if you can snipe them for their min price, that would be good. You're going to make a lot of profit if you do. And obviously, if they're in the monthly matchups, you're going to make even more, depending on how they actually go. Because obviously, uh, some of them might be worth more than others. But who knows? We can't actually predict just yet. We're just... I'm just giving you a recommendation of who you can actually go pick up. So with yesterday's video, it was a happy draft. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, I did pretty crap in the draft, it was pretty embarrassing. But um, yeah, it was actually a pretty poor video. I don't know, it weren't very good because uh, one, my camera died halfway through the video. Two, I literally got to the first round, got knocked out, which is pretty shit. And three, yeah, didn't really, well, I enjoyed it a bit, but didn't enjoy getting knocked out. So maybe could do another video, but that's just a bit of an apology because it was pretty crap, to be honest. But that is all for this video, guys. I know you all enjoy the marquee matchups because I get quite a few views on there. So if you've enjoyed this video, please show your support by leaving a like. And also, if you actually have any comments, if you want to ask any questions, or put any teams that could possibly be in there, because I know there's more, uh, there's plenty more games. I think Juventus and Torino were in there as well that could be predicted, but I'd put the Roma and AC Milan game in there. So if you have any more questions, any investments that you want me to uh, go and make or clear up or anything like that, or any other videos, just leave a comment down below. Anything, absolutely anything, I will reply to it no matter what. So leave a comment, leave a like, and be sure to subscribe.